Moon jellyfish, scientifically known as Aurelia aurita, are one of the most common and recognizable species of jellyfish. They are found in oceans and coastal waters around the world, including the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. Moon jellyfish are often used in Chinese and Japanese cooking, as well as cuisines in other parts of Southeast Asia. They are not particularly flavorful, but they do add saltiness to dishes and can be used to create items such as glowing ice cream. Moon jellyfish have the ability to bioluminesce, meaning they can produce light. This phenomenon is often seen in their natural habitat during nighttime, creating a captivating display of glowing jellyfish in the water. The most common coloration for moon jellyfish is a transparent or translucent body, which allows them to blend into the water and makes them almost invisible. This transparency gives them the characteristic ethereal appearance. Moon jellyfish can sometimes exhibit a bluish or greenish hue. This coloration can result from the presence of certain pigments, such as green fluorescent proteins or other light scattering molecules. In some cases, moon jellyfish may appear to have a pink or purple tint. This coloration can occur due to the ingestion of certain types of prey, such as shrimp or small crustaceans, that contain pigments or compounds that temporarily color the jellyfish. Moon jellyfish may have subtle brown or gray undertones in their bodies. These colors can result from the presence of symbiotic organisms, such as algae or other microorganisms, that live within the jellyfish's tissues. While their stings are generally mild and not harmful to most humans, some individuals may experience mild irritation or an allergic reaction. When a moon jellyfish comes into contact with human skin, it can cause a mild stinging sensation. This sensation is typically described as similar to a nettle sting or a slight burning feeling. The area of skin that comes into contact with the jellyfish's tentacles may become red, irritated, or develop a rash. This irritation is usually temporary and subsides within a few hours to a few days. In rare cases, individuals may be allergic to the venom of moon jellyfish or have a hypersensitive reaction to the sting. This can lead to more severe symptoms such as hives, difficulty breathing, chest pain, or dizziness. If you experience any of these symptoms, seek immediate medical attention. Moon jellyfish primarily feed on small plankton and other microscopic organisms. Moon jellyfish are opportunistic filter feeders, meaning they capture small planktonic organisms suspended in the water column. Plankton includes tiny organisms such as zooplankton and microscopic plants. They use their long, delicate tentacles to capture their prey. While moon jellyfish primarily feed on plankton, they can also consume small fish and fish larvae if they come into contact with them. If a fish or larva gets entangled in their tentacles, the jellyfish's stinging cells immobilize the prey, and the jellyfish then transport it to their mouths located in the center of their bell. Moon jellyfish may also consume the larvae of various invertebrate species, such as small crustaceans or other marine organisms. These larvae are often present in the water column and are suitable prey for the jellyfish. The lifespan of moon jellyfish can vary depending on environmental factors, availability of food, and other conditions. In the wild, moon jellyfish typically have a lifespan of about six months to a year. 
However, under favorable conditions, some individuals can live up to 18 months. Moon jellyfish are not known for their speed or active swimming. Instead, they are primarily passive drifters, relying on ocean currents to move them through the water. Their movement is driven by the rhythmic contractions of their bell-shaped bodies. The speed at which moon jellyfish move is relatively slow and can vary depending on the strength and direction of the currents they encounter. On average, they can drift at speeds of around 1 to 3 centimeters per second. However, their movement is not precise or controlled, and they have limited ability to actively swim against or across currents. Moon jellyfish lack a central nervous system or specialized muscles for swimming, so their locomotion is primarily driven by the passive pulsations of their bell-shaped bodies. They float with their tentacles hanging below them, capturing plankton and other small organisms as they drift through the water. Moon jellyfish reproduce sexually, with individuals being either male or female. When conditions are favorable, typically during warmer months, the male moon jellyfish release sperm into the water. The sperm is then captured by the female jellyfish through specialized structures called oral arms. Fertilization occurs internally within the female's body. Once fertilized, the female moon jellyfish produces eggs, which develop into tiny larvae known as planulae. The planulae are released into the water and go through a period of free swimming. During this phase, they are vulnerable to predation and other environmental factors. The planula larvae eventually settle on a suitable substrate, such as rocks or other hard surfaces, and attach themselves. They undergo metamorphosis, transforming into polyps. The polyps are small, cylindrical organisms with a mouth surrounded by tentacles. During this stage, they are essentially sessile and do not move. The polyps of moon jellyfish reproduce asexually through a process called budding. They produce small stacks of juvenile jellyfish known as aphorae through repeated budding. The aphorae are connected to the polyp by a stalk-like structure. The aphorae eventually break away from the polyps and become free-swimming entities. They resemble miniature versions of adult jellyfish. At this stage, they are capable of independent movement and begin to feed on plankton and other small organisms. As the aphorae continue to grow and mature, they undergo further development and transformation into adult jellyfish. They assume the characteristic bell-shaped body with tentacles and reach reproductive maturity. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for even more viewing pleasure. Don't forget, like and comment. Feel free to share.